Division 2, but this legendary build is pulling off 25% amplified damage to our skills and weapon without using glass cannon. Yup, it's 100% cannon, 0% glass. I call it the Hollow Man, and I tuned it special for the White Tusk tech and their chungus. Just watch me burn this tank, and then this heavy. Next up is my signature cinematic intro, after I'll walk you through the build. Hit the like button right now, and be sure to comment Hollow Man down below. I hope you enjoyed the Hollow Man intro. It's a sad story, really, of a man who lost everything to the pandemic and pandemonium that came after. Now he seeks revenge, and this is the build he is using to do it. It has 25% amplified damage for both your weapons and skills without using glass cannon. That's right, this is all cannon and no glass, baby. It has 12% damage to armor and 31% damage to health multipliers and gives back 20% armor on kill with six skill tiers and tons more damage bonuses. Every piece has an intention and is especially tuned to clear legendary missions quickly, whether it be in a group or solo. There are also some mechanics to how it plays. Let's get through the build pieces as fast as possible and then I'll explain how and why. I decided to run it with 900,000 armor. You can also run it with 1.1 million armor. I did, and it's really hard to tell the difference in the build, but ultimately, I went with the additional skill tier so my turret and drone would have more skill health. The damage was fine, 
but when you run solo legendary, it's annoying when they shoot your drone down. My primary weapon is the mop shotgun. This gives me 10% armor on kill and the build gets us out of cover enough and close enough to use that attribute constantly. I'm running it with in sync, which juices the skills and weapon by 30% more damage when it's fully proc. This is a key component to the build, more than just the armor on kill, and I will show you why in a second. Notice the mod configuration and the laser pointer I have that pulses the enemies. You only have access to this mod when the technician specialization is equipped. That weapon mod is proccing our chest talent spotter, which gives us 15% amplified weapon and skill damage to pulsed enemies. You can feel the difference between this and kinetic momentum. It's a great talent. This is also our first piece of a full set of Empress for 10% skill health, skill damage, and skill efficiency. Efficiency includes damage, haste, health, and duration, in case you didn't know. Hey, if you're looking to play The Division 2 in new and exciting ways, this is the right channel. Join my Discord for more action and consider becoming a member of Tux's Players Club. It's only a buck. Don't miss out. Hit the join button below to get started. Also, if you dig what I'm putting down, I'd appreciate the like, comment, and a subscribe. This helps me help you and I have lots more where this came from. The knee pads are the second piece of Empress with skill damage and armor regen. Listen up. If you're going to run with less than 1.1 million armor, put skill haste instead of armor regen. You don't have enough armor for the regen to be that helpful. If you decide to go with 1.1 million armor, then keep the regen. The backpack is our third piece of Empress with more skill damage and armor regen with the protection from elites mod. We are running 39% protection from elites. I ran the build with and without these and they do help a lot, especially for how close we are getting to the enemies and the chungas. And finally, we are running opportunistic on the backpack. Because of the mop, this has given us an additional 10% amplified damage from all sources. You just boosted your skills to a total of 25% amplified damage each, and now your weapon has 25% amplified damage also. That's the same as glass cannon without the glass. Have you ever run this on a skill build? It's an absolute game changer. I would normally run Memento Backpack, but the amplified damage is really nice to have without the glass, of course. Also wanted to give you group players an alternate to the Memento, but still give you a build that plays fast and pushes hard. And it's surprising you can do that with only 900,000 armor like I have and no weapon damage cores. Again, put skill haste instead of regen if you're going with less than 1 million armor. The holster is the waveform. It teeter totters 30% skill damage to the drone and turret on top of the skill damage and haste attributes. The gloves are the death grips for 10% more armor and kill, bringing us to a total of 20%. We have armor and skill damage on it. These are Dark Zone exclusives, and you can also get them from named item caches. This video shows you how to farm those caches best. Ah, and the mask is the Hollow Man, the named Yogur mask that is also a Dark Zone exclusive. You can also farm named item caches for this as well, which is how I got mine. And I was happy too, it came with max skill damage on it and the unique 10% health damage attribute, which is a multiplicative damage type. I rolled a skill tier on it. It normally comes with armor, so if you don't have a skill damage version, just keep the armor and roll skill damage on yours. That will be easier to come by and your armor will be at the 1.1 million, which is a nice place to be and helpful for the regen and 20% armor on kill. Health damage is underrated. It is very, very useful for legendary. Don't let anybody tell you different. And trust me, somebody will try. The red grunts, tanks, warhounds, drones, weak points, and even the big heavy chungas that are always a pain in the ass are all vulnerable to health damage. Now, this is gonna synergize with our shotgun, believe it or not. It's all about the build mechanics though. And we'll come back to that in a moment when I show you the gameplay. But if you don't have a Hollow Man mask, in the meantime, just use a Wyvern mask or a Badger mask. The secondary weapon is gonna play a big role in the build. It needs to be an AR because we want the 21% health damage. I chose the Honey Badger. It does well, I don't like the reload time on it though. Make sure you have the linked laser pointer also equipped for the spotter talent. You can use any AR that allows you to use the laser pointer. 
I am going to show you the skill stats, but don't trust the damage numbers as listed. The waveform, amplified damage, and in sync will push that up around 200,000 or so. Be sure you have technician equipped and skill damage in the skill tree selected. For stats, notice the shotgun gives us 12% more armor damage and 10% health damage. And the AR, you have a total of 31% health damage. That's a tank buster. Let's get into some gameplay and I will walk you through how to use this build. As I do, pay attention to how many reds are on the field and how fast they die as well as the tanks. So you know, I use the shotgun about 70 to 80% of the time and the AR for tech and targets at range. The tanks at the start of the UA are perfect for showing what this build can do. We will waste them. First, tap them with the shotgun to activate opportunistic. Then swap your AR for the additional 21% health damage for a total of 31%. And watch those tanks turn into a pile of scrap. And the shotgun itself is hitting nicely with sync, but don't divide and conquer with your skills. Keep them close and focus fire. The mop is the perfect finisher. The skills pull aggro, distract, and damage them down. You're shooting them anyways to proc opportunistic, and then you end up finishing them off with your gun for 20% armor on kill, so you keep going forward quickly. Even if your skills steal the kill, you're getting 10% armor on kill anyways. And when the enemies are at range, I use the shotgun to just prop the backpack talent, then I switch to the AR. It's easy to land pallets at range, but I'm loving the mop on this build. It's not every day I get to use this with a legendary setup, and it's working out very nicely. So you know you can use a Scorpio, I'm sure somebody's thinking about that, but you will lose that 10% armor on kill for those status effects. And I also found that most of the enemies were dying before I got to that last round where it was giving me even more amplified damage anyways. You can play as aggressive or as relaxed as you like with this build. All you need to do is proc opportunistic. You don't have to play close if you don't want to. And there's no memento, so you don't have to worry about your trophies. I'm showing you solo legendary gameplay so you have an idea of how special and how powerful this build is. And know if it works solo, it will work in a group. Actually, even better in a group, thanks to Opportunistic. All sources get that 10% amp damage, even your teammates. This video shows you how to clear the first phase of every legendary stronghold in minutes. It also recommends two very powerful legendary hybrid builds that when combined, you become a god. Tux out. This is not